Hi. So I don't know if this video will go to the main channel for everyone or just for the members, but I sort of want to work on myself. So I think about doing like release work on myself every day, where it is like just working on my emotions, removing entities, doing soul contract locations, whatever. I wonder like what would happen if every single day I was working on myself. Because like a lot of times now, and it's probably like been I don't know, a year or two since I'm working on others mainly and just a very little bit on myself, like physically, like, yeah, I can work out and eat better, clear my entities from time to time if I find some something bigger, but I'm a lot of times focused on others. And I'm noticing, like, I just want to grow. I want to find something bigger, better. I want to develop as a person. And I don't know. I don't know where this will, will take me. So for those that are watching... <laughs> This is more like consider it a bit of a rambling as well as work on myself. And we'll just see what kind of limiting beliefs I have, some of the difficulties. Because like right now, I think, again, I'm going to focus on mainly on the communication. And I think that has to do with people because I'm noticing some of the some of the things are getting in the way where I feel like, oh, damn, well, I got discouraged from making videos or something else happens. And I just feel like I'm limiting myself because of what I believe in and I don't need that in my life. I need to go all in for the fifth gear and just do my best. And yeah, yeah, so no idea. But I will start like with, I wrote down a few items for myself, just like uh, taking a list and just gonna keep items that I work on. So like, I would know what I have addressed and just kind of like, I don't know, like choose the area, like like thinking in the aspects of let's say soul conjugal location, then the idea is to, you go through your life, you look at what is going on, what's wrong, what do you wanna work on? And I would say like, oh, well, my health is this, my work is this, my relationships is this, communication, blah, blah, blah. And I would have lots of issues or something else in all areas of life. And I would want to work on something and make it better. So the idea is to clear or like the choose to choose something very specific, at least start from one area. For me, it's gonna be communications, and anything has to, that has to do with me and other people. So for me, communication is the big area. And now we need to find like, what kind of issues do I have regarding communication? And the ones I wrote down is kind of like wanting to please people, wanting to satisfy people and being nice to people. And with that, I also should be clear, uh, like let's say wanting to be nice to people and who specifically like would be viewers of my YouTube channel, my clients, stuff like that. So like, I'm gonna, this is more for myself, but you get to see what I'm doing with myself so that you could do it on yourself or like, oh, look what I did and this is how she got better. So like, kind of like documenting my journey. Anyway, I have a few issues here. <laughs> um, basically, when I'm working with people, I want to do my best to help them out as much as possible. And with that help comes cases where I see that the tools I have or the knowledge I have cannot help the current person. Or let's say they have different needs. For example, oh, Akvila, make me clear of warnings, fix my issues and all this stuff. And all of a sudden, like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, like, I can give you tools, I can help you with that. And but I can't fix your life for you. Like you're not, you're gonna sit on your ass and just drink beer or something and I'm gonna change your life like that. <laughs> like that's not happening. So like a lot of people that I'm working with are expecting me to <laughs> change their life in 20 minutes, 100%. And with that, as impossible and ridic ridiculous as it sounds, I do feel the pressure. And a lot of times I'm drawn into it and I'm trying my best. And even then I'm sort of like, um, being hard on myself, like as a person, I grew up in a world where I've been doing whatever. Let's say I I can skip on washing dishes or I can say something to my brother or something. And basically I grew up in a world where I'm guilty no matter what. I'm wrong, bad, guilty to the point where I'm going to hit myself. Like I grew up as a kid. If, if I'm doing something wrong, I'm, there is no like, oh, I'm a bad person. So like really hitting myself to the point where like, ow, like you feel like massive bump and like the knuckles and everything else, like there's no holding back. And I, and I was pretty much hard with myself. So like I worked really hard to sort of stop it, to reduce it, to control myself, to not abuse myself physically. And it's a bit, um, 
hard talk about like looking at how bad I was on myself. But I'm noticing like this thing, it's not coming back slowly, but it's like knocking, knocking on the door like, hey, I'm close in a way where if I don't please people, if I don't satisfy them, if I don't help them when they want certain things, I feel the pressure. And it's not like their expectations. They're expecting things from me, yeah. But then I expect things from myself. And if I don't do what I want to do or what's right, then it's it's pretty damn harsh to the point where like I'm going to like holding myself on the leash, like you're a bad person, you can't do this, you can't do that. And, you know, like I'm, I'm very very harsh on myself in certain ways. So, you know, like if it's not there are people mm, teaching me, lecturing me and telling me I'm bad, I'm gonna do it myself in a hundred times more. And I'm gonna be very harsh, no holding back. So like, I live with that. And I know like, like it's, it's slowly showing up again. Like when I'm not helping people, I feel this pressure from myself. It's not even them like, you know, like they can ask for their money back and it's okay. And there's tons of other things that can happen. But for myself, I feel like, you know, like I need to do something about it. And and one of the things like feeling like I have to be perfect and have a way to help absolutely everyone, no matter what, like even, even if they ask me to like, you know, like, hey, make me a clear one, pull me out of body and other things like that. Like, you know, there's tons of factors involved and the person, like a lot of them believe that they're not going to do a single thing, but they expect me to help them in any possible way. And it's, it's happening, but for me, it's a lot. It's a lot in a way where I can try and it, it might work, it might not, but if it doesn't, I'm, I'm really hard on myself. So like, that's like one of the things. Another thing, I have certain people in the comment section mm, writing to me and some of them, you know, just, just this morning I had this guy, he's very like trying to challenge me like, hey, I, feel I can't trust you. You're like this, you're like that, like uh, writing, writing about me to other people telling me like I'm a scam and like you know like oh that shit this and shit that and it's it's okay people can have their own opinion but in a way that person at the same time wrote me emails like hey look I, I fucked this girl I fucked that girl and because of you I can't do this like whoa 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 you live in a co- another country I never saw you I don't know anything about you and you're blaming me for your issues you have issues not me you know so it's kind of like pointing fingers at me and then like uh tons of other things like that happen so this person is icky you know like I, I don't like those people but i try to be nice to them and lately i'm not seeing like there's one another and another and like i'm trying to use gary vinerstruck's mindset like hey people who have this kind of like just coming at you with fate and with that kind of mindset they are hurt and be empathic and help them and I'm trying that and at the same time certain things they say piss me off or just throws me off like you know like I might be more like hey I'm gonna do this and I'm working and I'm like all excited and do- doing my thing and seeing that comment like it's kind of like ruining the mood kind of like damn like oh fuck you I don't want to do that stuff anymore so it's like really throwing me off in certain ways so talking it out seeing my issues I have to choose what kind of thing I want to work on I'm gonna do the release work I'm gonna start from that I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the whole like let's say so controversial that would take a whole lot of time but just talking it through to have a realization or something or just like release some of the emotions will be good for me a lot of times it's, it's really good if you have someone to listen to you someone to ask the questions as well but if there's no one there's always the journal style where you can write it down or just talk to yourself with whether it's out loud or in your mind anyway yeah so for me like i, I would have to choose what to work on hmm. I don't know, like there, there's both. I feel like right now with the clients, there's probably like two people that stand out, um, two people that stand out like where I feel like I, I can't satisfy them, but I want to satisfy them, satisfy their needs, satisfy you know their expectations and all this stuff. And at the same time, I don't know if, how much is, is getting in the way. Like yesterday I had a client who bought a session like for the minute consultation and I try to make it very clear that in the consultation, I answer your questions, so I listen to you and I help you out, but it's a consultation, which means that in that day, I don't do scanning and all this stuff. And that person like bought the consultation and I asked him like, okay, like, where are you from? What, what days are you available? Like this whole week I'm like, you know, like uh, booked and the person like, oh, I, exp- I, I thought I bought the energy work and I thought you're gonna like work on me and clear this and that and that. And basically like, 
he sends me an invite to Zoom to do the session on him right now because he's available and I'm actually in the middle of the session. And then I was like, oh, well, this is, you're offering definitely not what I thought you would on blah, blah, blah. And basically he gets a refund and just blames me for all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, I try to be clear. And even then I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> it's like one of the reasons why with some people it's a bit harder. And I guess like it's, it's to be expected. And at the same time, you know, like I don't really have anyone else managing this stuff. So it's like keeping an eye on everyone, tracking them down, blah, blah, blah. Just, just talking here, talking it out for myself. But I'm, I'm wondering like which one is getting in the way more for me. Like getting in the way, what I mean by that is, and I feel like I wanna create, create videos, be as expressive. Like working with people, I, I've actually, you know, with all the stuff I'm mentioning now, I, I've met one such a wonderful person. Like I just had a blast working with her and just seems like another me. <laughs> like the mindset, the abilities, and I, I love her, like she's amazing. And looking at that, like, you know, like it's, it's very refreshing to see people like that. So it's not, it's not all bad. It's just like a few people with their needs get in the way in a way we're like, ah, oh, like it triggers me. So, so there's that, but like, there's also comments. I think like that would be the bigger thing. So what what I get from YouTube and people writing to me and comments and emails from from my viewers that's I feel like that's a bigger trigger where I feel like certain things they say will discourage me or throw me off in a way where I might be like let's see all excited and I have an idea for a video and I'm getting ready and my YouTube like is open and like let's say it's just gonna pop up and boom I end up like seeing the comment I'm like all the mood all the ideas and everything else I had for a video it's like fuck that shit now like gonna work on something else because totally not feel like just talking because like it's a bit triggering it's a bit triggering like you're like shut the fuck up you know like just wanting to say something nasty or whatever and i i don't block people that's like that's one of the issues like most most people can actually shut them up and like okay blocked no more of that i don't like um i'm trying to like take gary speed mindset to be um, like empathic and help them, but it's in a way, you know, not good for me. I don't have to do that specifically, but just just trying to see what he is saying and learn from him is that is the point. But anyway, so comments. Um, wanting to please people, being nice to people. What is the bigger thing for me with the viewers? Like right now, I'm like just trying to see what kind of issue I have. And people, viewers triggering me, viewers saying things that trigger me. <laughs> That's where I have to like dig inside and then see what the problem is about. So I'm like right now just trying to pick a, a target, an item that I could address and then talk it out and see what comes out after that. Right now, like I'm, I'm sort of thinking, going into, is it the thing like feeling like I have to respond to everyone? Sort of this pops in my head, but at the same time, it is wrong because lately I've been basically backing off from writing back to people, especially on YouTube. Like let's say I'm gonna make a video, but I will not respond to everyone. So it's not, not a thing, it just feels like it, but not. Um, trying to please people. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, what's the bigger thing, like, uh, I write to people, but the bigger thing is, like, what I get from them, and specifically the ones that are more into targeting me, or let, let's just say sharing their thoughts that end up triggering me, like, that is the bigger thing, so, <laughs> going from there, hmm. I feel like the one I can choose is being discouraged by the viewers. This is probably the best way for me to put it in words right now. That is sort of simple, clear, and it's a starting point that might end up in a bigger, deeper, better item. So, uh, yeah.
So being discouraged by viewers, I'm going to mark this one and uh, start working on it. Okay. So uh, I have a question list. My, most of you probably have seen it already, but the idea is that I have a question and I'm going to plug in my item in the question and I'm going to start answering questions, sort of like deep, digging within, digging deeper, see what I find. And mainly like it is targeting the limiting beliefs or things that I am unconscious about. So let's say entities and other things that can happen, but it is not a thing right now. Like I'm, I'm not always going to blame the entities. I have to look at myself, my own thinking and all the stuff. And I feel like it's coming from that. So yeah, what might be some of the reasons for being discouraged by the viewers? Hmm. Well, some of them, like the more attention I'm getting, the more people with different beliefs notice me. And at the same time, not everyone can express themselves in a way where they're tolerant. For example, if people say like they believe in Jesus or in someone else and things that specifically will be against what I believe in, I will not start jumping on people and saying you're wrong, you don't know shit. I'm gonna be like, okay, you have different beliefs. Like that's okay. And I'm okay with that. A lot of people that actually have a different mindset don't feel the same way about me, which is why like, while I am, tolerant certain like towards those people i don't i don't get the same response and people actually call me names and say certain things that would trigger me so that's like that's like one of the things it's just one of the reasons that i feel discouraged by them kind of like intolerant um just i don't like a misunderstanding the situation or not having the, the clear picture and like it's like again i'm going from the perspective of being triggered by those that know nothing about me it's like there is so much i tell about my life and show into the public but people have no idea what i've been through what kind of person i am what kind of things i do throughout the day what kind of thinking i have how much work i put in and all this stuff and it's more like i know myself and they don't and when they say certain things it hurts because they don't know the truth and it's triggering so there's that um are there any other reasons for being discouraged by the viewers mm. Actually, even though I'm trying to not care about what people say, I end up responding to everyone. And I consider, like, let's say every single comment when a person writes, it's not like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to answer without really caring about the person. Like, every single comment, every single person, I connect with them. And I feel like, you know, like, hey, a lot of them, I know those people and I know who they are. And certain people, Come in a way where like you know like i've seen their comments like in the youtube at least on my end i have a, an option to click on the name and i will see all of the comments they've ever written so i see what kind of person they are how many times they've said they, they have said certain things and it's actually funny like i have let's say my friend Darius, who is the one like offered membership who's like over here, like with me translating anime and like other things and he's a very nice person he's very supportive but then there's this like our Lithuanian, Alexis, Alex, uh, yeah, basically he's the one like writing comments, calling me, calling me schizophrenic and other things. And just like lots of questions like, hey, do you, do you pay your own taxes and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, of course you do, man. But at the same time, it's like every single comment from him was immature and in a way where you know like just gonna say shit because he feels like it which is okay he's expressive but at the same time it is such a typical thing especially from my perspective like all or like most of Lithuanians are you know like um inconsiderate they just ain't gonna do shit and be mad about it <laughs> like like most people you know, like I work in a translation and basically it's a volunteering work for six years, not a single fucking dollar for translating thousands of episodes, like a thousand four hundred episodes, not a single, you know, euro. <laughs> but at the same time, people are like, "Hey, you're not fast enough. You're not doing your job." But I'm like, "Bitch, please, you know, like it's not a job. It's a hobby. I do it whenever I want, whenever I have free time. And even then, I get people, you know, like being all rude and saying shit, which is like typical for you know, like by what I mean." But anyway, like there's that. So like like the, the mindset, like from certain Lithuanians, you know, they come in and instead of, oh, look, here's a person doing their own thing, like, well, fuck that, not going to watch the video. And so instead of like just skipping, if they don't like it, they like end up leaving negative comments or like it's, it's a bit annoying. But yeah, like what else? Like, are there any other reasons for being discouraged by the viewers? 
I guess like, you know, like just besides the, besides the care, um, in a way like I'm sensitive, I don't know, like, I've gone through certain type of like emotional bullying and all the stuff. I've been through it. So I know like what it's what it's like being called names and being laughed off and being laughed off and all the stuff. But at the same time, I think like right now, like putting myself on YouTube was always this kind of threat or a risk in a way where like, you know, like the world's gonna laugh at you no matter what. And and like certain people with their own beliefs and that's okay. But in a way like it's it, there is a some somewhat of pressure sometimes and I feel like mm, the bigger thing probably is a lot of videos I make is is like focused on helping others so where I'm going to talk about getting out of body or you know like techniques for self-help clearing out the entities this is like my strong zone this is like an everyday thing and and even then like it's not the thing I want to prove to people like, oh, I'm going to prove that out of body is a thing or that entities like all are around us. Like, I'm not trying to prove things. And, you know, like, it's only totally okay to see me the way you see me. It's just that, how do you say it? I've been through shit. I've been through like seeing paranormal and seeing our beings and all the stuff. And that's like an everyday experience, but that's me. And I've learned how to deal with it. And people can call me crazy, but like, hey, I know how my life works, but then there are plenty of other people who are being called schizophrenic, who don't, who don't have anyone to talk to, who are feeling all alone. And those people are exactly like me. They might go out of body. They might see or hear other beings and they don't know what to do. And they have no one to talk to because if they say a single word, they're going to the mud house, you know? And in a way we're like, for those people that have issues with this, for those that like just worst luck in the world that no matter what they do not a single doctor helps them they've been like in the retreats of Joe Dispenza, Tony Robbins and all the others grace that like in my mindset that they're everything even their stuff doesn't help them and even like if they go with scientific stuff and like uh, pills and other things it doesn't help them and when they have nowhere else left to go I don't want to feel like I don't I don't want them to feel like they're all alone I want to be there for those that need it and I feel like in a way, like, I don't want, I don't need or want the whole world to notice me, but for those that need help, I want them to feel safe right here. Like, I want to be the person that's going to listen to them. And I think like I'm, I'm being misunderstood in a way, like people don't know my real intentions and I assume they would. I assume that people have seen all of my videos. I assume that people know who I am and what my intentions are and they don't. So like, you know, like the other perspective is assuming that everyone will be the same and understanding. And it's, it's very selfish assumption. It's uh, like, like my thinking that like, oh, people will understand me because I say this and that, like, no, like a person can come and see this video for the very first time and think you're crazy. And like, they didn't have an introduction. So like, I think I do have the selfish assumptions and thinking about others which is which is a thing like it's so it's good like I'm just sort of like digging deeper realizing more things about like hey it's you know like I I expect from people that they will understand I I assume that they will be, be supportive I assume that they will understand my goal and it's it's not the thing I'm not communi communicating about it and not telling it to everyone in every single video so you know like how could they know how could they give a fuck for them all I am is like a weird girl that is crazy and talks to other beings that are not even existing and making shit up to just get some attention just telling stories i guess like that's how most probably would see me so there's that but yeah um what else let's see like so like i basically had one question one question for myself that i sort of kept going again and again a little bit to dig deeper and i'm finding some answers i think it's a really good place but I might dig deeper see if I find anything else. So yeah, what does being discouraged by the viewer suggest? It suggests that, you know, like I'm sensitive, but at the same time, I don't have this, I can ask like inner strength. I don't have this mm, motivation. Like I'm looking at, at Gary V and he, for me, he's a perfect example because I've just been able to fix my life listening to his tips. And just because, you know, like, hey, he said a few things, I listened to it, and my whole life changed. I'm very grateful for that. And he's just a person that I look up to. And sort of like 
knowing how he helped me out in his own ways, like without even knowing about it, probably, I feel like, you know, like I want to do the same thing, but I don't have the same mindset yet. So it's, it's, it's just like being discouraged by the viewers suggests that, you know, like I'm, I'm very far from Gary Vee. I'm quite sensitive, which is like fine, you know, like I don't have to be like him and I don't have to be him either. I just want to be helpful for others in that way. But are there any other suggestions? I guess like I'd also suggest that I take it very seriously. Like let's say YouTube, the comments, while some people might come and troll around or like they have nothing to do and like, come on, like out of your very precious day, where you could be doing absolutely anything in the world, you choose to spend your precious time looking at me, and then certain people will write things to me like that's wow, thank you, <laughs> like thank you for spending your precious time on me. And so, I take it seriously, yes, like I take it probably way too seriously. But yeah, other things. Mm. What might being discouraged by viewers be keeping me from doing? That's a good one. It keeps me from making a lot of videos. Like the last few days, I've had quite a few topics in my mind. And like, I don't know, like what we would call like alien interference and the other things, but mm, basically soul traps and like literally like I've actually had a honor to do like this guided ubi with this wonderful girl and she just what she saw is exactly the soul traps and you know like recalling her past life, but it ended up in a wonderful session where we're getting like a good idea of how many worlds there are like earth but even worse where people are just dumped like you know like people dumping something like, you know, like and at the same time no memories no awareness being zombified just you know like walking like that it's it's a thing so like i wanted to cover that topic i wanted to cover brilliance kind of like finding their origins of um who they are what kind of beings like you know like in, in a few videos i've covered about us uh how they like can teleport and let's say shrink the galaxy and like expand it and like the um how like what's the word uh, basically replacing it like like let's say if, if the galaxy is in that one to four dimension and i'm viewing the, the dimensions just simply like a radio channel so like depending on what kind of frequency you tune in there's just tons of them and like let's say if it's a third dimension then we can have third dimension point zero 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 five or like third dimension point four and just like it's just infinite in any way and so you can find tons of these dimensions and you know like like various differences but like brilliance is is an amazing race and i I was like, I always saw them as, as beings who were sort of in a bad way and doing things and doing the progress, getting in the way, shrinking people and all the stuff. That would be the thing. But then I found the origins of, of who they are, what kind of wonderful beings they are and have been and how AI got in the way and everything got corrupted and stuff like that. So like, there's a lot of, of that going on as well. And like, there's a lot of videos where I feel like Mm, even like talking about ubis and stuff i you know like there have been comments you know what people wanted me to shut up and stop talking about the same old thing or like uh calling me schizophrenic if i talk about the entities and i feel like like these small things I'm, like even if it's just like, one person i feel like i take it a bit too seriously in a way where like i might have like oh i did the session i found this new thing there's like so much i want to share and tell others and even then like I don't allow myself and a lot of what I learn and experience and I'm going through is being held in and just left was like is left unexpressed and at the same time my YouTube is stays without like any uploaded videos and I feel bad about not uploading videos and I feel bad about uploading same old videos like with the same old topics and all the stuff and it's kind of like a feeling like I'm being pushed in a way where like no matter what I do I'm going to be bad wrong and guilty so there's that and I don't know like this is kind of like a little, little mind fuck. Mm. So yeah, like what does being discouraged by the viewers allow me to do? I said like good things. Is there anything good from it? Um, 
Well, I've been pushed in the decision situation where I'm making like a session right now. Like I'm, I'm working on myself. Which like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm moving forward. Like you know, like you, you get slapped and you can either like sort of give up or like yeah, slap me again or you can actually like, okay, I'm gonna fight back. So like I feel like I'm doing something about it, which is good, but um, in a good way. And I think that being discouraged by viewers, well, taking a break from YouTube, like. Um, backing off and stop replying to people, stop responding to others, sort of just disconnecting from that stuff it gives me more, more freedom where I can enjoy my own personal life. And that feels satisfying. Like it's, it's, it's been a while, like just like um, a lot of times I'm just focused on helping others instead of, you know, like I literally, like I, I had, um, I connected with a person and every time I talk to someone, my mindset is how can I help them? And this person was like, no, 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 like, I just want to talk to you. You don't, you don't, don't help me. I just want to talk to him. Like, what the, f so like, I, I, I was like, sort of like having this such a weird, like, what, like, does that happen? <laughs> you know, like, I, I felt like I can't really talk to other people, just, just be there to help and all this stuff. So like, that was kind of like a revelation, like, oh, you know, like realizing that I forgot it. I forgot it. Like, I'm not always there to fix things and yeah. There's just a lot of that going on. So I'm going to like, oh, I'm yawning. And yawning is a way of like this, let's say, emotional energy that's being stored. It's releasing in a way where like it's going out and I need more air to fill me up and sort of like relaxing. So like in the way it's good. Like, and, and I'm focusing on, let's say, specific uh, feeling states I've had let's say today and the other day when like people say certain stuff that triggers me and you know like I'm not always like I'm not always the nice person they might say shit to me and I'm like oh I'm not gonna let you walk all over me I'm gonna fight back and in a way I want to be hmm, I don't like nasty Adam or like I don't I don't want to like you know call him dumb and anything but I'm more like you know like get out of my way like I'm like fuck you I don't, I don't need you in my life in that way and so like um certain triggers like I feel in my body like my whole it's just like I'm I'm all inspired I'm gonna do this thing and I see a comment and like my whole blood starts boiling and I'm like man you know like that pisses me off so yeah so there's that like I'm I'm getting in touch with some of my emotions and I guess like it's 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 an interesting thing in a way where oh letting this energy out but I'm a person who hasn't been triggered for a long time and if it's a trigger, it's somewhat, I don't know, like unnoticeable where I'm going to be happy no matter what. And throughout the day, there can be a lot of things happening, but I'm just like very calm person in my life. Like I'm very happy and satisfied about everything because like I have most of my needs met and like, you know, like I don't need much in my life. I just like, just like give me those two, three things and that's it. Like that's all I want. And so like I've had this thing for a while. And now I feel like I want to grow and, you know, meeting the challenge. Like, oh, look, there's finally seeing some new triggers. So, like, it's it's good to be aware of those things. And it's, like, um, weird that I'm getting, I don't know, like, probably, like, releasing some energy in a way. So, like, that's good. Mm. I'm looking if there's some any other questions that I can answer uh, or if it's releasing. But, yeah, let's go for another one. What is being discouraged by viewers supposed to do for you well it's supposed to like it's supposed to push me in a way where like i'm gonna find a new way to fight back i'm gonna find a new way to get better to work at myself and i'm gonna turn off my discord because i have people writing to me and it's like annoying <laughs> like usually like um <laughs> off topic i have my phone on mute because there are certain people calling me at like a two four three a.m at night and i'm like yeah I'm like shut the fuck up i want to sleep you know like don't interrupt me so like i my phone is on mute because certain people will just not stop spamming me and i'm like okay <laughs> i guess like it's one of the things i have to like like the price to pay is it's not too much i'm not complaining well i am but not too bad but um you know, like just can can have the sound on the phone on and and making a video and then like like someone else writes like come on, don't interrupt. But yeah, what is being discouraged by the viewers supposed to do for me? So in a way, like I feel like I've learned that if I fall, I'm gonna get up. 
like no matter how bad things are and the worst hasn't happened yet but certain things you know like they can get harsh in a way but i'm a person's gonna get up i'm not gonna lay there crying i'm gonna be like fuck it like it, it hurts but i'm gonna get up and continue so like in a way where like i'm being discouraged from making videos but i know like this eventually leads me to i'm gonna get better i'm gonna overcome this so in a way like if, if it's if i find certain comments that are getting in the way this is what i'm doing i'm talking it out i'm getting better and in a way like i'm working on myself so like literally this whole thing i'm not sure where i'm uploading like where to the like whole public uh or just um, members but that that's the that's the way to work on myself you know like where's like uh removing entities or just like asking questions and talking it out like there it is that's one of the simpler ways um another thing yeah yeah let's see being discouraged by the viewers i think it's I'm not an item anymore like i think being discouraged by viewers is releasing because i'm finding something else i have an interest in and it's like like that as an issue is not as a big thing because like it's it's I'm, I'm like getting rid of it but the bigger things i'm finding is like um discouraged or not wanting to make videos or not wanting to stream like there have been certain people getting in the way where like oh fuck it i'm just not gonna do it you know for a while so like it's not like i'm discouraged by people or like by the viewers and let's let just say like it's getting deeper it's like being discouraged by the viewers is a very broad thing so i can be discouraged of doing whatever like discouraged from making a video discouraged from streaming discouraged from blah 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 it's very broad so like i think in a way like this item is releasing where i'm finally getting closer like oh the bigger problem is there and the two things from this is discouraged from making videos and discouraged from streaming and i write this down but this is the win this is where i talk it out and realize that i have like from this whole issue there's something bigger so like if this is not releasing or i feel like hey this is this is good but there's something more important i'm digging deeper finding the truth of what's going on so i'm going to wrap it up for now i think this is a good place for a break i'm going to write down my items for the next sessions and we'll see what i do with this but yeah anyway whoever's watching thank you for seeing my whole process and what i'm going through for supporting me or just sharing your own thoughts or actually joining me and doing the whole process. So I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.